god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good, I swear, I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison Barton calling her Maddie. Yeah. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Wait, sweet, sweet, sweet. This is not a seance. This is, this is me being perfectly alive and normal. You're not wrong. Hi, Chantal. <laughs> hey, BK. Hi. I'm alive, but this isn't, this isn't a, uh, a seance. This is thirsty times. We have water for this reason. I also decided I hid the old camera angle, so I switched it again. Ah, uh, story of my life. Anyways, hello. Hi, friends. How are we doing? It's been a week. <laughs> Says the person who hasn't streamed since Monday, because they've... Been, I don't know what it is. How's everybody's week been? Mine has been weird, is I guess the short version. Um, really hope that the group that I'm supposed to be playing Monster of the Week with later tonight is not here because uh, I don't want them to know that I want them to forget about the game existing tonight because I would like to also just rest and play Mass Effect after this or play more of this. I just want to play this until bitches be weak and that sounds accurate. Like that sounds like what this week is. I just want to sleep. But I will say, look at the space buns! I have one purple, one blue, one purple, one blue. I'm not act I'm not turning this properly, but that's my hair now. Is me. I'm bitches. This is true. This is also me. I'm also bitches. Um okay, for a second I'm pretty sure my caption said ditches, and I'm like rude. I am not <laughs> nice buns in. Uh yeah, you know it, baby. Um <laughs> Oh, remember how we don't know what comes out of my mouth ever? Nothing has ever changed. Nothing continues to change. We're doing great. Anyway, so welcome to Arcade Spirits. If you have not watched any of this yet, this is uh, me living out my true fantasy of working at an arcade and knowing that I need to save the day, but also dealing with existential crises and trying to find love at the same time. So life. <laughs> It's, this has been the cutest game, period, uh, minus the fact that it is a constant feels train. So, you know. Today we gonna learn, today we gonna feel. Today we gonna feel is really what it comes down to. Um, but it's good times, it's gonna be good times. We're gonna load. Uh, chasing, God help us. So we finished the we finished chapter two on Monday. Um, these are all the potential people we can we can woo. Um, as you can tell, uh, Gavin, aka Corporate Daddy, we have not cared. I think I've <laughs> oh, then you're in trouble, Chantal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you teeny jellyfish. Uh, Naomi, we clearly are killing it with. She's our tech lovely. Um, Ashley, we like as a person, but don't care, like in that way, which is fine. Percy is just the sad boy. Percy's just the very sad boy who seems very happy, but we would like him anyways. Uh, Queen Bee, we want more time with. And Tia, we should probably give a fighting chance at some point. But it's hard when the ladies are so good. Also, this are, these are like the answers that I tend to choose. So this is like a neutral answer. This is... A cheerful answer, a balanced, like, logical answer, a heartfelt, compassionate answer, uh, and what was it, assertive, I think is what this one is, as an answer? Anyways, I don't know. I don't remember, but apparently that's why I'm a sweet, gen sweet, gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Thanks, Iris. Iris is the AI that lives in my watch, actually in my phone, but then she also set my pants on fire last episode. Yep. We're figuring that out. Oh, and we learned that I am on the premium account when I really shouldn't be because I am a broke ass bitch. That's the synopsis of this story so far. Iris the rogue AI that we didn't ask for, but we're really enjoying anyways. <laughs> like, yes, pizza facts. 
Ugh! Actually, and you'll be already really happy to know I am making myself pizza tonight. I have already planned this in advance, folks. We're doing great. Um, but today's pizza fact is of 31,386 pizza places in the States, roughly 83% offer delivery, 91% offer takeout, and 51% offer dine in service. Because what? When you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. It's not going to be on a bagel. I actually have dough in the fridge right now. And I got some extra cheeses. I am going to have so many cheeses on this pizzas. <laughs> cheeses and pizzas is good times. Anyways. The pizza bagels thing is a reference to this game. I don't know. It's fine. Yes, please. Yes, save the game. I know I literally just saved, but we're going to pretend like I didn't. Yeah, I really preferred my camera angle being here. I don't know why. It just feels like I'm talking to you guys more so. But that's because I can see the chat a lot clearer from here. Also, I'm going to still stand by. This is the dopest soundtrack. Take it to the max. Oh, God, help me. Take what to the max? Who am I taking to the max? It is the year, future year 20-something. And today is the day oh yeah i offered to be an event manager the last time i played uh max goof don't you know this is actually a goofy movie three the tree cool i've got stand out it's stuck in my head now i did this to myself i have no one to blame but me and that's fine uh, in other news, uh, that is much happier though, I have learned that some of my- more of my co-workers have watched Encanto and have become as obsessed as me, so I'm really happy that I'm no longer alone at my work- at my office. <clears throat> at least in this endeavor. I almost scared some people though during a meeting today. Anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, not the actual big day when we reveal Wyvern Keep- Oh yeah! Also, I got- a arcade machine for free and it's Wyvern Keep where I get to go save a prince which I thought was badass the big day in relation to that big day and I am completely stressed out um no it almost scaring people means I didn't commit to the bit that was the problem because I almost yelled out to them what was it what was it gonna be Isabella your boyfriend's here time for dinner and I decided that that maybe taking it a step too far but also, <laughs> it was either that or seven foot frame. I don't know. I just wanted, I was going to yell it during a call, but then I realized maybe I shouldn't. <sighs> oh, but in other words, I think I may have found another nerd at my office, so I'm winning. It's a winning day. Anyways, my mission, should I choose to accept it? And I kind of already chose to accept it, so I cannot go back is to spread the word about the upcoming Funplex event. The one that I'm in charge of. The one that I put a ton of effort and hope into already. The one where, if no <laughs> rats down his back. I don't have a lot of impulse control, but sometimes I do. Especially when it comes down to maintaining my position within the office. While I boast about being a, uh, I do what I want kind of person, I do occasionally. <laughs> Between that and the hierarchy, who is she, don't know her. Um... My coworkers are slowly learning that I am completely unhinged, and yet I actually have a surprising amount of power there. It is actually terrifying if anybody actually learned what I do for a living, um, because they would be like, wait, they trusted you with that? And I'd be like, heck yeah, they did. I don't know, guys. I don't know. People like me. People like me. Weird. Anyways. I'm running an event at this arcade, which is also so me as somebody who spent her day. I do not actually run a power plant. I'm just in charge of a lot of people's careers and futures. <laughs> not even, it's not like I'm a career counselor, but I help with like team development. It's good times. Actually, it's really good times because it just means I yell at people to make sure that a lot of people get promotions when they deserve them. That's what I do. Oh, but I have a fancy title and stuff too, which is actually kind of fun. I'm actually fancy. It's weird. I just also, 
Yeah, no, it's actually really dope. Um, what I do is actually pretty, pretty insane a lot of the times and I just don't ever talk about it. But I have actually a full-time job that I do in addition to this, which is crazy to think about half the time. Um, but yeah, no. And then I work with a lot of not-for-profit associations as well. And I manage them. I do a lot of things, it's so bizarre. Anyways, it's good times. It's very good times. But I also do a lot of event-related stuff, which is why this is hilarious to me. Because of course I would be in a game signing up to do an event. I'll only be the laughing stock of the entire funplex. They'll call me the funplex failure for the rest of my days. I'll be shamed, forced to wear a giant F on my chest. No, we are not playing the scarlet letter here. Whoa. What is this? Look at the penguin! So we've had the writer show up in chat occasionally, and I love them to pieces. But apparently, yeah, it was one of the, it was like the artist plan. It might have been the background artist who subtly keeps throwing in. Um, oh, you can't see it because my face is in the way. There's a there's another penguin behind my face. Just trust me, okay? Yum! Only nine dollars. God, I don't miss conventions for the food. Let's focus on what's going on here right now. Specifically, a giant conglomerate horde of people bumping into me. Smelling like corn chips, and there's nowhere to run. I might be a little over in my head here. Over my head here. Working in the arcade, I've gotten used to smaller crowds. My skin has gotten a little thicker and resistant to sticky soda hands touching me accidentally. Yeah, if you're running a trade show booth, it's not fun. It sounds like Fan Expo, looks like Fan Expo, probably smells like Fan Expo. I know Naomi's the one who doesn't like crowds, not me, uh, but come on, this isn't a crowd. This is a gojira size evacuation mosh pit. Complete with gojira size screens uh, hanging overhead, constantly showing advertisements for arcade games and shopping ha industry happenings. Hey, hey. My girl! Hi, baby. This is my roomie. Her name is Juniper. She's adorable. She's the reason why I have Iris at all and has also lied to me recently, but that's okay. We forgive her. That is a word, yes. Also, she has these really cute little cat socks that I really kind of want. I keep forgetting how much I just want to kind of cosplay her. And I could, like the scary thing, like the makeup's fine. Um, do I have a pink wig? I have a sort of pink wig. I'd have to get the black streaks. I could probably make that happen. Uh, but then it's cute fuzzy shorts, that shirt, the neck, like I can make this. I could be this. I want to steal her socks! Never really been to one of these things. What a spectacle. Thanks for giving me a ticket. I really needed to get away for a weekend. Ooh. How are you holding up? You look a little green around the gills there. Oh, yeah, clip-ins. Well, they always have those weaves, too, so it's really easy if I wanted to just sew something in. Um, nah, like, it's really easy to do this. But, okay, so because I have a dialogue option, like, look, really cute, like, little sort of fuzzy shorts. But look at those cats! Look at the cat faces! Anyways, we're good. I'm holding up. As long as I can keep my internal monologue going and be able to speak frankly through my own mind, I'll be perfect. I'll be fine on the outside. It's the perfect facade. Story of my life. Can't you, you tell by my awkward smile, eyes open wide, and tilt my head that I'm holding up? Perfectly. Life. Yeah, that's exactly why I came here with you to help you in your hour of need and to get away for the weekend. But still, hour of need. It's true. Juniper has helped me get through a lot. But beyond generalities, I think she specifically wanted to make it up for me for the whole job offer situation, which is where the lag came in. She, well, no, it was an omission. It wasn't necessarily a lie. It was an omission. They were hiring for somebody at her work that would have been a very cushy job. Um, and I would have qualified for it because it's entry level. But someone, her, did not tell me about it. And instead, now I'm working in an arcade, but I do love what I do. So, I just don't get paid as much. It's nice to have her here. We're, pro we're not gonna let a little thing like that stay as a sticking point between us. So what's the plan? Hmm? Can't just stand around all day. There's a lot of ground we need to cover to make sure your fun plex is a success. How are we gonna attack this? What's the first move? Oh God, I don't even know. You didn't plan for this? Like at all? It's too busy lying awake all night stressing out to worry about such things. Well, let's start with this. Hold these. Okay, I'm holding these. What are these? Flyers! The ones you wanted for promoting your big events. I managed to print off quite a few before the boss started giving me weird looks. I used to love doing that. Different job, different office, but uh, oh boy, I abused that printer. It was good times. 
Why are copyright rules so strict in office jobs? Aha, <laughs> depends on the office job. Sometimes you can get away with murder. It's just paper and I needed it. Flip over a sheet and I start to remember. It's about two weeks ago. I also love Ashley's vibe. Ashley and I were holding down the fort that day. Gavin locked himself in the office and told me if I bothered him for anything other than an emergency, I would not live to regret it. Francine and Saint Ho that day. She was marathoning a competitive knitting show or something like that. Naomi was out shopping for extra parts. The Dig Dug machine was acting up again. The buns were sticking from some kid spilling a slushy on it. So it started as a pretty ra boring day and an empty funplex changed rapidly. When Tio came into the funplex carrying an armload of giant rolled up posters. Hello there. Welcome home, Tia. Hiya. How's start, though? Only so freaking excited. I might explode into a thousand bits. Please don't. That would be such a mess to clean up. We don't have nearly enough hydrogen peroxide to get out the blood states. I don't have a plastic tub full of wine to dissolve your parts in. I am thinking this through too much. Holy crap. Not to mention the years of therapy Parker and I would have to go through to get over how horrible it would be to watch your friend die violently in front of you. Just can't afford it. I like how seriously we took it. I'm not going to literally explode. But, 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 but I guess it's happening in two weeks. It's huge for us. So, yeah, it's crime scene cleanup crew or something. Or hopefully it's a crime scene cleanup crew. Could be worse. Could be as an assassin cleanup crew. Are they showing a compilation of internet cat videos of the movie quad? That'd be amazing. Please, please tell me we're finally going to replace the blindingly horrid casino lake carpet beneath our feet. I like the carpet. It's fun. It's sticky. No, no. Okay, I guess I tease it enough. Bring your quarters. It's max time. Large arcade gaming festival is here. Cool. Oh my gosh. Max po. <laughs> oh. Poops. But that wasn't for another month. That means I really got to double down on my cosplay production. Ma'am. Say goodbye to sleeping for the next two weeks. Bummer. Ma'am, ma don't do that. Still have to meet with all the dancers and work on our synchronized dance routines. Not nearly enough time to per perfect it. And I have to find a good time and place for an international showtime stage community gathering. I'm lit. This is Nerd Central and you know I love it. Oh goodness. Why are there doppelgangers? Starting to finish my third cosplay. Oh, death taken out. Can we like rewind? What exactly is Max? The best gaming convention ever. Did you both plan to say that in unison? Regardless, still confused. More exposition, please. Max is the Mega Arcade Expo, an annual arcade gaming convention. It happens every year around this time over on the West Coast. This year, they're having Max right here in our city, and it's going to be the biggest one yet. Yes! I always go every year and show off my nearest cosplay. Love it. It's a great way to meet a bunch of other arcade people. And catch up with those you haven't seen since the last convention. It's so much fun! Okay, yeah, I see why you're both excited. Sounds cool. Yep, and I was thinking we can put up some Max posters around the Funplex, you know, and get all the locals hyped. It's a great idea, Tio. Finally an East Coast Max. Gotta make sure everyone knows about it. That we do. Poster, poster, poster time! Pushing pins into the wall. Guys, why do I feel like this is actually like a take on PAX? Which is Penny Arcade Expo. PAX, Max, I mean. It tracks. Anyways. That makes sense. Cause Penny Arcade. Yep, yeah, no. It makes perfect sense. Super different for definitely legal reasons. The more I heard, the more I started thinking about how we could use this event to benefit the Funplex in some way. As the Funplex's newly minted event manager, I had to be on the lookout for opportunities like these. Uh, the very first Max on the East Coast. It'd be perfect. Very legally distinct entities here. Hey, can we promote the Funplex's event at Max? Good for local buzz. Maybe convince some out of towners to stick around for it. Ooh. That's the one you've been working on, right? Yeah, I've got ideas for tournaments, token discounts, much to Gavin's displeasure and more, and we'll be revealing the new game we got from the raid. <gasps> I see. And do you have a new name for this grand event yet? Yeah, what's it called? Well, I have a feeling I have to choose the name now. 
Am I? The suspense is killing us. Oh my god, I get to choose this. Thumbplex rising. Oh my god. Um, 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 what am I calling this? Guys, I was not prepared to name an event today. Fan. Oh, 15 characters max. I'm in trouble. I apologize. The rest of the stream is just me frantically not knowing what name what to name this thing. Um, okay, hold up, hold up. I'm looking at the other games that are here and I'm like, what else can we use? So Funplex. Putting the fun back in Funplex. Um Funplex fun time is terrible. <laughs> There's suddenly no more game. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna go to here while I freak out about this. What do I write? I don't even know. Furby Funplex. Sorry, I thought of the Furby. That's like you can see his toe in the corner. It's good times. Um, what do I name? I, I don't. I don't name events. I just run them. Furbalicious now. Furby event. The freaking Funplex. Same brain cell. I'm so glad. <laughs> I like. Look at this guy. Look at this little menace to society. Anyways. <laughs> he is definitely a menace to society. Anyways. Name it? No. I have time to plug you in, sir. Okay. Furbalicious definite. Nope. <laughs> I, my brain decided to take Fergalicious and then change it to Fervalicious and just keep singing the song. It's not good. I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. Um, lots of things. Anyways. What can I say except you're welcome for the terrible sounds in your head? What can I say? <laughs> Fun flexathon. Ooh. Funathon actually could be a thing because then it's like a marathon of fun. I like the 20XX because that's even funnier. Funathon. I do like the funathon. Actually, maybe it's just the funathon. The funathon. No! No ball pit! This is not Dash Con. Dash con. This is not. Oh my god. So there's actually. So on, I'm on TikTok quite a bit. And there's actually this new thing lately. Uh, this new event that's popping up. Oh, I don't remember the name of it. But it's like. People are like it, saying it's Dash Con 2.0 is what they're expecting. Like Dash Con meets Firefest. And it's run by the, it's being run by this girl who tried to, tried to sue Critical Role for one of the girls, like one of the girls in Exandria Unlimited stealing her, stealing her character just because there are similarities, even though, but basically it's a white girl who's accusing a Latina girl of stealing the Latina, Latina character. Anyways, whole thing. But, uh, yeah, anyways, it became a mess, and it's really, really funny. But they was getting pitched as a, like, summer camp for adults. And I say that with sarcasm, knowing that I would fully love an event like that. But the circumstances around it are ridiculous. So, anyways, I love, I miss working and running a convention for con drama, because, especially between other conventions, because to me it's hilarious. Um, especially considering I run events professionally. Anyways, good times. We're gonna go with the fun of fun, and I'm gonna put his back on. Screen. Perfect. We're gonna go the fun of fun, because I think that's as good as we're getting with this. That works. I'm not coming up with anything better. Eh? Eh? Oh, I so do, I do love it so. Amazing. Perfect. Really? You named it the fun of fun? There are worse things you could have called it. Teo. It is kind of catchy, though. Thank you. I tried real hard and spent a good five minutes on it. 
How do we get tickets to Max? How can we advertise there? And uh, how much will that all that cost? I'm still living off pizza bagels. Ugh. You mean you don't already have your tickets? No. They sell out on like day one, my friend. Actually, they sell out about 20 minutes on day one. All the hotel rooms are gone way sooner. Who do we sell our soul to to get there then? Because we clearly make it. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, Parker. While you're talking, I located all the scalpers who are selling tickets online at exorbitant prices. Then I hacked their IP addresses, found less than tasteful information on a couple of them, which would make their lives very difficult if it got out into the open. Iris is my girl. She is my kind of girl. And anything I've ever said against her in the past, uh, we're going to ignore that. After contacting them, I promised it wouldn't leak such sensitive materials onto the internet in exchange for selling us tickets at their original prices. Y'all. My girl. Hooray! And they gladly obliged! Such nice humans. Yes. Iris did just blackmail Scalper, and I have zero issues with this whatsoever. I transferred the funds from your account to theirs, and they secured the, and secured the tickets. You should be getting an email from two, for two max tickets in approximately three, two, one, done. Iris also scares me, but I'd rather her be on my side. When our AI overlords take over, I want to, them to know that I am their friend. Oh, and I suggest you invite Juniper to come along as your second. According to Juniper's Iris, she's very stressed from her job and can use a mini vacation. Um, okay, but uh, Iris? That's kind of known as blackmail. What you just did is technically very, very illegal. Don't worry. I erase all possible leads back to you. You'll be fine. And it's all a matter of helping the funplex, isn't it? Just like you wanted me to do? Yeah, she's on our side for now. I'm going to try to keep her on my side for as long as possible, though. Well, Iris has been dedicating herself to this event. We couldn't be doing it without her. Even if we need to have another talk about human ethics. Fine, fine, but next time let's do it without any federal crimes, okay? Okay, it's a promise. Regardless, hey, tickets, now you can go, sweet. And I'm not gonna pity a few cold-hearted, bloodthirsty ticket scalpers myself. Those guys ruin events like Max. Yeah, you know what? As somebody who frequently is more in favor of the droids in any given movie, um, not surprised. That just sounds like me. It just feels on brand. Also, while I was procuring the tickets, I stumbled across the Funplex Spacewall account. It hasn't been updated in exactly three we 13 weeks, 2 days, 14 hours, and 54 seconds. The Funplex's social media presence is completely non-existent. Wait, we have a Facewall account? I mean, that does make sense, but still, I had no clue of its existence. I sort of run it. I'm really bad at keeping up on it, though. That sounds like it would be Gavin's thing. Why isn't he in charge of it? <laughs> Gavin couldn't care less about social media. He says that, and I quote, social media is where idiots go to yell at each other about nothing of any importance and I'm not going to waste my time. That he's not entirely wrong. That also sounds like Gavin. Yep, and Francine is too old to understand the importance of social media and Naomi is way too busy with all of her beloved games, so it fell into my hands. Which, as Iris stated, I haven't been doing a great job at it. Well, we should take advantage of, of it for this. We can use the Facebook account to spread the word of the Fenathon. You're completely right. I should work harder at it. Or if you want, you could take it over as the event manager. That'd make sense. I should really take on this responsibility. It can only benefit the Funplex. And Ashley's right. Getting the word out is part of being an event manager. There is the entire marketing component. Can you help me the login info? Yep and yep. Login get. Congratulations, you are the new owner of a social media accounts. Huzzah, the power is all mine. Mine, I say! Are you sure you want to give them this much power? If the fact that they threw their head back and cackled isn't sign enough, I don't know what is. Not worried one bit. Excellent. Parker, I can help the Funplex keep the face wall, too. I can program time posts and use effective keywords that get the most out of each post. SEO is one of my many, many talents. That'd be helpful, helpful, actually. You know, just don't break any laws. Sounds Stop good. breaking laws. Do I have permission to access your contacts on your face wall? Sure. 
My mother is now going to message me being like, why are you sending me information about the fun fucks? I've sent out notifications to everyone in your friends list and your friends' friends list about the fun fun That was fast. No joke. One more thing. Your site should have about 75% more images. Did you know that 90% of people prefer looking at pictures online rather than reading? I am one of those people. Sometimes I just don't understand you sentient beings. She makes a good point. We should totally come up with a poster for our event. You can hand them out at Max, too. And, of course, keep them up around the arcade. Mm, okay, the arcade isn't too hectic today. Ashley, if you can watch the floor, I can go design us a sweet flyer to pass around to the Kongoers. It's time to display my mad artist skills that I definitely have. Ooh. Let's make this the best Max ever! I think I'm in trouble. Spent the rest of the afternoon working hard on having the perfect design for our poster. Well, a design for our poster at any rate. Which brings me back to the stack of papers currently in my arms. Which do not, in fact, resemble the poster I designed. Mystery rare game reveal high score contest all day, all games. Fists of discomfort tournament. Oh, I took the liberty of tuning your poster into just a little. And changing the font selection and picking out new clip art and rearranging everything and using a popular color scheme. But I liked my original design. Parker. What is wrong with me? I use Comic Sans and Papyrus? Like. We should be paying Juniper for fixing this? Like. Comic Sans is cool, right? It looks like a comic book. Gamer nerds love comic books, don't they? Take it from a wannabe visual designer. Comic Sans is a one-way ticket to the uncool zone. But these new flyers are gonna pull people in from, in from the four corners of the globe! Yeah, I mean, I guess these are kinda not bad. They are better than Comic Sans! Pretty good, actually. Okay, they're superior in every conceivable metric. I didn't know you were an artist. Well, uh, I mean... I'm not, I'm not, really. I mean, I guess I'm good at pretending to be one, but I couldn't, like, make art for a living, right? I couldn't. Um... Anyway, if that stack isn't enough, I also emailed you a copy of the original file. Just take it to a copy shop or something, and they can run off more. Publishing document? Yes. So, back to the point at hand, getting the information to the masses. Maybe if we just start yelling, hey, you guys! That's an awkward way to do this. Juniper! <laughs> yelling is probably not the best way to get our word out. And I'm actually still waiting for Ashley and Tia to show up. They promised they would help me, so I think we'll just hang out until they arrive. As you like, it, it seems my work here is done. You Femplex folks fling some flyers. As for me, there's a really cool panel I want to attend. How to get your foot in the door at, at, of the arcade art industry. I mean, not that I'm seriously thinking about it, it just, you know, it's interesting and stuff. Later. Sure. I want to start in 10 minutes, I'll catch up with you at home, bye! Bye, Juniper. Growing up, I always knew the arcades were amazingly popular, but the reality of it all really didn't stick until being here at Max. Thousands of people all coming together for their love of games. No, there's a convention for everything. There's also an association for everything. I muster enough courage to wade my way through several hundred people in the main convention hall. Eventually, I find a safe place. A humble bench near the water fountains. I make this my home base while I wait for my friends. Both Tio and Ash... Excuse me. Both since we, both Tio and Ashley are running late, I have some time to take in my surroundings fully in a calmer fashion, of course. Everywhere I look, everything I see, it's all steeped in arcade culture. Booths are set up for the, all the major arcade companies, each by each table vying for the attention of the crowd. Some have spaces set up with stages, flashing lights, and people throwing T-shirts into lines of people. Was this fan expo? Holy crap! Can we talk about these lines for a second, though? There are lines for everything. Yeah, no, these are, it's called line con. It's what this actually is. Lines to eat disgusting convention food. I don't miss that. I don't miss living off of energy drinks and whatever carbs I can find. I really don't. 
clearly it's been a while since I've gone to a convention and I clearly am not that sad about it. There are lines to get into other lines. Yeah, that's how that works. I have trouble waiting in line for 10 minutes at the whole story for a copy, let alone waiting in line for three hours just to play a game that'll be released in four months. These people aren't even human anymore. Their perseverance is godlike. The sensory output here is overwhelming. People are shouting and laughing as they crowd areas. Music pumps out of silk with several different booths, making a weird mashup of notes and chip tunes. There's even a giant dino. There's a giant dinosaur for selfies? I need to be a part of it. I contemplate how I'm going to attract all of these people to the fun of fun. I hear sounds of very loud, very upbeat music from behind me. Woo! Yeah, it's just like Fan Expo. Which, for the record, is like a big nerd convention in Canada. In Toronto, specifically. Parker! Sup, buddy? Yeah, a giant dinosaur always makes the trip worthwhile for me, okay? Motion for him to turn the music down. Do Hey, hey. Sorry I'm late. I had some last-minute dance moves I had to incorporate into the routine. No worries, I just got here myself. Despite Max's many attempts to trample me, I have survived this far. Yeah, it looks like you're significantly non-trampled. Well done. Don't congratulate me yet. We still have the rest of the day to endure. What's with the boombox, anyways? Oh, this is for the Showtime stage gathering. There's gonna be a couple hundred of us from all over the world. I didn't realize there's Showtime stage communities in other countries. Absolutely. Oh, we're actually the second biggest community. The largest in Japan. Several fl several players flew all the way from Tokyo just to be a part of our Showtime stage flash mob. Can I be a part of the flash mob? I mean, I've probably spent too much time watching videos of flash mobs doing random stuff for upvotes, but they look like so much fun. And take everyone's surprise like that, I want to see the looks on their faces. I want in. <sighs> it might be a little too late for that. I've been playing this for months and it's taken all the coordination from all the leaders of all the Showtime groups. There's a lot of work from all sides to make this come together. Now that's all that's left is to actually do it. I keep waiting for a mini game. Dream Daddy has made me paranoid about random mini games just showing up out of nowhere. In fact, you should come watch it. Ashley, what? It's it's not it's not a he. It's a it's a. I mean, I guess if they want to be he right now, they are more than welcome to. Uh, hi, Ashley. Cough draped over him. Yep. As he approached, the crowd parted like waves from like waves from Moses. There were oohs and ahs from onlookers, and people pulled out their phone to get quick pictures. I was taken aback at how immaculate this butler was. Absolute perfection. Characters from a hot fighting. Okay, normally this would be ridiculous out of place, but not an arcade convention. He's a character from a hot fighting game called Melee Maidens. It's all about ninja maids and battle butlers duking it out. I kind of love that. I want to be a battle butler. For the right to serve a fancy party or something. T. Oh, great. Hot. I am going for the Star Trek reference here, folks. Just in time, the dilithium crystals are busted and the replicators are on the fritz. Number one, make it so! Parker, it's me. Because it's Ashley. We work together. Ashley? It took you long enough. Jeez. Priceless. Have you ever seen Ashley's crossplay before? Possibly? Possibly not. Probably not. What's crossplay? It's when you cosplay as another gender. Okay, Ashley, seriously, you look completely different. I didn't even recognize you. I'm so sorry I let you think otherwise for a minute, but it was all in good fun. Don't worry, it's pretty impressive work. Oh, it's not impressive at all. I mean, I could have done a much better job at sewing the coattails. I need to be like five inches taller. And I didn't go to the gym enough before this. God. Girl, calm down. Calm down. Regardless, the cosplay party is starting soon. I need to get over there. You should come with me. I'm going to the flash mob, folks. It's going to be more fun. It's a good opportunity to promote the fun of fun to, to another, one crowd or another. Hmm. I just literally said I need to spend time with Tio, so we're gonna give this boy some attention. Tio led the way as we navigated around clusters and the crowd, his boombox carried out his side. It was zigging and zagging through the hallways, people, and booths. Every step I look. Oh, no, no, we're not going in that. My brain, folks, my brain. 
Ugh. Felt very small in an entire ocean of arcade fans. How? I accidentally football. Oh, football kicked a toddler. Oh god, that's brutal. Or at least it was going to take a gaming miracle. Or at least not another failure. Yeah, no. Cool boy. That's a big oof there. Yeah, no, that's fair. Set your expectations low, so when something happens, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Another family motto. No. And here we are, my friend. Yeah, I can only imagine how bad that would have been. Oh, Lord. That's just... I'm so sorry. When our race through the maze ended, we were standing in an atrium of sorts. Glass ceilings and walls covered, in ha covered half of the space, letting in a ton of natural light. It was a welcome shock to the system working in the arcade business. You rarely have access to windows, and the convention center for Max was no different. Um, sorry, now I'm vibing to the music because it's just fun. Can you, I hope you can hear it. I'm not sure if it's too quiet. I'm kind of trying to bring up the tone of it. Right? It's really cool. Like, look at that. Look at the it's Dance Studio Central going on back here. It looks awesome. I just love the, the not DDR. It's all simple psychology. No windows equals no sense of time for people, meaning they spend way more time and money in the arcade because they lose track of it all. At least that's what Gavin taught me. Pretty sure he, sure he knows the science on arcades and the people in them. The atrium is in fact secluded from the rest of the convention. It's quieter than the hustle and bustle of the main hall. People are more dispersed here since this location also holds the food court. People are slurping down on fruit smoothies and munching on fries while enjoying a break from the craziness that is Max. Don't get me wrong, there's still games out here, it's just significantly less. All the games here are dancing games, which makes sense for what we're about to do. A few stages set up around the place and I see- Oh, they actually mentioned DDR! It with Showtime stage I see highlighted in the center. Hey, pretty great spot, isn't it? I can see why you chose this place. It's Dance Central. Well, not Dance Central by Harmonix, but you know, Dance Central. And I think the only place big enough for your flash mobs. Hey, hey, keep it quiet. Flash mobs are supposed to be all secret and stuff until it all goes down. My lips are mum from here on out. I mean sealed. Good, good. I can't have you ruining the surprise. But in all seriousness, I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. Yay! Cheering me on and just being your amazing self. Oh, you're cute. I'm honored to call you my friend. Aww. Well, I haven't given you much time or energy. I got your back! Speaking of being friends, you want to help me get the word out about the fun farm? I was hoping you'd volunteer. You? I got you. But it'll have to wait until after the flash mob. We should be starting any minute now. Sweet. That'll mm. bring the crowd, too. Just waiting for my leads to show up. When I stand next to Tio, I note several fa familiar faces from the funplex. Seems like most of the Showtime stage regulars showed up to support him. Most of them are chatting amongst themselves, some are playing various dancing games, while others are waiting for Tio's signal. Speaking of the Dancing King himself, Tio looks like a sheepdog that's lost his herd. He's watching the, cra he's watching the crowds frantically for his friends, and he's mumbling to himself under his breath. He normally has such a calm, collected air about him. This is completely unlike him. Tio, what's up? Well, uh... E I know, right? His hair is so cute. I love it. I love this, like, the vest I that he wears. Like, I love the ensemble. Oh, you know, just worrying about everything collapsing from underneath me. This whole thing won't work unless I have all the group leaders. And right now, it's just me and my sister. Sister? You've never mentioned you had a sister before. Well, you don't really talk about family much, so I felt it would be impolite to bring it up. Touché. Your sister's one of the dance leaders? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Honestly, she's probably a better dancer than I am. She taught me everything I know about dancing, from the chasse to the moonwalk. When I was a kid, I would watch her dance recitals being complete awe, every turn, step, movement, done with a absolute elegance. I can't even come close to comparing to my sister. I'm awful. Sir? Hold up just a minute. Tia rolls his eyes and lets out an exasperated sigh at my cool dancing fun. Are way more talented than all the other dancers. All the others that dance at the complex. She's beauty, she is grace. She'll smack you in your face. 
No, that's me. Um, <laughs> that's why they chose you as your leader. They look up to you so much for more than teaching new dogs and old tricks. You're kind, but what you don't understand is that the showtime stage is completely different from a traditional dance. You lost me. Like, we were walking the same point there, and then I spotted the candy store and ran off. That's how lost I am. With Showtime Stage, you're forced to move within a finite box. You can't glide across a dance floor or jump as high as you want with a grand jeté. While it looks very similar, it's restrictive. Dance is all about freedom of expression. You don't have that much, that as much in Showtime Stage. While I'm not the best dancer, I am good at one thing. What's that? Game. Exactly. Games and dancing elements in them, to be exact. Funny enough, my sister doesn't even play dancing games. She's terrible at them, in fact. But she's helped me figure out the whole flash whole flash mob thing out, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to be mortified. How bad will it look if three people are just prancing about on a sink? Poor guy. Oh, no. We're gonna start dancing. Dance. I started doing the only dance I ever bothered learning, the Macarena. What in Shiva's name are you doing? Are you seriously doing the Macarena right now? Yes. What, you don't like it? I didn't until right now. Tia looks way more relaxed now. He's laughing and smiling like he normally does. Thank you. Thanks, I'm so ready for this now. Can you excuse me, Moon? I see my peeps. Bye, friend. You got this. You can do the thing. I believe in you. They're all huddled together when Tio approaches, and they get, they all give him hugs and high fives. Everyone is in great spirits as they're getting ready for the big moment. Tio grabs the boom box from where he left it earlier and makes his way up to the main stage. As soon as his foot touches the platform, the Funplex crew who had com commandeered the Showtime stage quickly spring into action. It's true. Sometimes you just gotta be a dork. It's good. It's a good thing. One of them runs behind the Showtime stage cabinet and pl unplugs it from the wall. The bouncy Europop that was playing is replaced with dead silence. <gasps> the other crew members pull out a microphone from a nearby pack and hand it to Tio. He plugs the cord into the back of his boombox and brings it close to his mouth. Max, are you ready for me to rock your body? That sounds oddly sexual, sir. What are you trying to imply? People are on for it. The delight of the crowd is feeding to his energy and he's gulping it in. Don't turn away, not even for a second. Love you. Sir. Tia begins with a snap and everyone falls into place. As Tia moves his body, everyone in the audience starts to mimic him. Slowly more people join in a group of people, out, group of people after group of people. Soon the entire room is dancing, moving together like a school of fish. But way more upbeat and not getting eaten by sharks, which you know is a really good thing. Because especially if there were sharks in this place, I'd have much larger concerns. Tio leads the flash mob from the stage. He's putting his entire spirit in it. Smiling from ear to ear as he hits every beat with utter precision. Congoers who aren't participating in the flash mob have pulled out their phones and recording the whole thing. Gamers are exchanging gossip and taking pictures. Sure, I'll be reading all about this all over social media. Actually, I should probably post something about this on our Facebook. I pull out my photo like everyone else and snap a few pics and video clips. The flash mob for itself doesn't last for more than a few minutes. And at a dramatic end, Tio jumps off the stage and DEATH DROPS! No, just kidding. I've been watching too much Drag Race once more. Um, <laughs> it goes into the crowd. People immediately part for Tio as he strolls deeper into the middle of the masses. Same Funplex crew members that helped earlier are following Tio with his boombox. Once Tio makes it to the center of the crowd, he motions for his friends to put it down. Once again, he brings up the mic. Well, did you like it? Thank you. Thank you, Max, you are too sweet. Now I couldn't have done this whole thing without the help of me, apparently. I'm pretty sure you could have. You did a lot more planning before I showed up. They gave me encouragement when I need them most. Why don't you come here for a moment? Excuse what? Wait, wait, no. <laughs> no, the other Parker's standing behind you. Uh, the, the, if I have a twin, that's a whole news to me. Get your buns over here, Miss Base Buns. Is that what you're referring to, sir? 
I feel like a couple people lightly push me. Also, this is what I look like in the game because it's actually not super accurate. It's weird to be surrounded by so by that many people. <laughs> I'd love to, but I have to go hide in this hole right now. It's actually the inside of an arcade game cabinet um, where you'll never hear from me or see me again. Bye! It's weird to be surrounded by that many people, but being next to you made me feel comfortable about the whole situation. Well, that's good. Everyone give it up for me. Don't do that. I really want you to listen to them. Like, really listen. It's an important announcement. Oh, God, I have to pitch the, 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 the event thing. You wanted to help you wanted to help with the funathon, right? You've got the floor. Go ahead and tell everyone about it. Uh, this, the funny thing is, like, I actually excel at public speaking. I do really good with it. Uh, like, the rule actually is don't give me a microphone because then you'll never get it away from me and I will just keep talking. Some have a foxhole now, yeah. Some have a social anxiety bunker. Yep. This is it, wasn't it? This is what I've been asking for, to go out and do something for myself. I couldn't back down now. Use that theater degree that you have. Oh wait, that's still me. I can break the mold, huh? How's them enjoying their max? Woo! Always get the audience on your side. What about the flash mob though? Fantastic, right? I know you're having such a great time. Why, why, why let it end after today? Next weekend, Francine's Arcade Funplex at the Twin Pines Mall is going to be putting together a special event. It's going to be one hell of a time. It's called the Funathon. We need your help to make it as good, if not better, than the Max. Although that's impossible because funding. Teal leans in to play the part of my co MC. Thank God, because I need saving. Sure. You had me at special event. Tell me more. Funplex is growing is a growing and humble arcade, but packed with the best games around and the best gamers around. It's our first big event, and we need your help to make it rock. We're having a Fist of Discomfort tournament, an exhibition event to break the world record high score of Mookie's Magical Maze. High score competitions on every game on in the arcade all day long, and we'll be revealing a brand new mystery game, a rarity you won't believe. But that's not all, right? Nope. Showtime stage is a huge part of the Funplex, and we owe our thing. We owe Tio our thanks to that. As you know, he's cultivated this community to what it is today. To celebrate that, we want to offer the exclusive event to all you dancers out there. Special dancing event, the fun of fun will be... Drum roll, please. Yeah, there will be food. All the food. Ooh. The DJ part's boring. Free play for the entire event is really cool. Gavin's going to hate me. The tournament, though, could be really fun. Because then prizes, and probably less expensive than the free play event. Can't have just... <laughs> we can do an official side tournament, have a cash prize that will, with all the money, buy in money. Gavin probably won't mind. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Perfect. Can't let all those fighting gamers get all the fun tournaments, can we? Funathon, we're gonna have our very own Showtime stage tournament. As of quite literally this minute, because I have decided so. <laughs> Fantastic! Everything you said sounds amazing. I know I'll be there. Wonderful, and I hope to see all your faces there next weekend. See, we're actually doing great at the public speaking thing. I know we were scared, but like, we're owning this. There's seven more shouts that naturally, and naturally the crowd starts to disperse. Tio and I were cleaning up after the flash mob. My phone in my pocket started going off. Is it Gavin angry at me for promising other people more money? No problem, I'll just do that in a week. Yeah, I know, right? First, a couple vibrations, but before I realized what was happening, my phone started seizing. Oh, it's the social media thing. Yeah, there we go. I pulled my phone from my pocket when I looked out at the Funplex's face wall, had over a thousand likes. Go team! What the beep, hell? Beep. Can I interrupt? I might have borrowed the pictures and video clips you snapped earlier and applied the proper hashtags and links to the Funplex's social media accounts. It's work. Since the content went live, activity in the Funplex's face walls increased 700%. The buzz about the Funathon is off the scale. Hmm, note to self, invent new scale. Woo! 
I can't wait till next weekend. The Battlefield thing sounds like it's gonna be a blast. No pressure at all now. We're gonna need to hire more help. I don't know what I like, which is great. It's a wonderful problem to have, but also, what's this mystery game they mentioned? Can't believe it was that easy. Sometimes that's all it takes. It was great fun, but I'm totally exhausted. Me too. But you didn't dance. Would you say the funathon sounds like fun? Uh, if not, we're in trouble. He faced my peers in front of several hundred people. If that's not exhausting, I don't know what it is. Plus, I'm hungry. You could always go to one over the food, go over to one of the food vendors and play twelve dollars for overly salty French fries that are also probably uh, been under the heat lamps for too long and therefore not yummy. You know, Gavin and Naomi are running a pop-up arcade for the Funplex along with some other local arcades in Paul B. You can always pop there for pop by there for a breather with some friends. I'm gonna meet you there later. I need to debrief with the other leaders first. But I want to meet your sister. Like, Tio, Tio, I think you need to understand me for two seconds here. I need to meet your sister. Why can't I have that first? Why can't I have that tasty snack that I'm sure she eats? My mouth moves before my brain actually catches up for the record. We know this, but also. There is always second pizza. We will always have second pizza. I think it's thirsty. May have been wrong. She says not remembering her own. Yeah, thirsty. Out of why there. Out of why. There you go. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember my own commands some days. It's fine. I wait by as Tio and I make my way out of the exhibit hall on the lookout for Gavin's serious face or Naomi, who is delightful and I adore her. Let's see, exhibit hall B. Very much example resembles exhibit hall A. There are definitely more actual arcade games here as local places have set up pop-up arcades all over the place. Hard to notice the smaller displays with the giant garish Deco's palace display eating up the center. Since when do they show up as like our, our true nemesis that we have to eventually destroy? It's gonna happen, right? Hi, everybody! Look at them. Okay, but like, sorry, we need to introduce you to Queen Bee, who is this lovely here that I am still. Yeah, anyways, we're good. We're fine. Okay. We're gonna go talk to Queen Bee. Hi, babe. How are you? I love you. I'm doing good. Queen Bee looks stressed out, just loitering around, not playing games. What's wrong, baby? <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, hey, kid. How's Max treating you? Decently new? You look kind of frazzled. Uh, Who? Me? <laughs> no. I'm totally okay. I'm, well, okay now. I'm in the loser's bracket, meaning the big FOD tournament they're hosting here at Max. I advance from pools, but I'm in the loser's bracket. If I lose one more match, I'm out. Finished. Dead. A loser. I get it, I get it. <sighs> right now, I'm just sitting around waiting to be called up for my next match, trying not to worry, and failing miserably. It sucks. It seriously sucks. Allow me to provide a service to our valued customer and distract you then. Wanna talk? Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? Amble around on the Funplex display to a neat little corner wedge between two other industry booths. It's a good spot for quietish chat. Look, don't worry about me, okay? This sort of stress is healthy. A good competitor feeds off stress's nourishment. Grows strong. Powerful. Sounds fake, but okay. I've been in the loser's bracket before and gotten all the way to the finals. Tournaments are my thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm sure, I'm sure that is the case right now, miss. Frankly, when you aren't worried that you Frankly, it's when you're you aren't worried that you make mistakes. You get cocky, overconfident, you screw up. You cocky never. 
Cocky as a defense mechanism is different than cocky out of apathy. You steal yourself with one, you let important things slip up with the other. <laughs> I can think of many ways that I could distract her. You feel me, kid? I'm sorry, my brain decided to take the you feel me, kid, and then also really want to change that whole thing around. Um, I am the worst. Sorry. Okay, so claim you can take on the world that maybe you really can. Wouldn't keep me a little have it work better? Thanks. Good times, good times. I get it. You fix yourself squarely in the mind so that you can destroy all corners and it gives you the mojo you actually need to do it. So having a good day or a bad day, you want to go in assuming you'll rock the world. Nailed it! <laughs> I'll make a champion out of you yet, kid. Well, champion floor attendant. Event manager. What else? What, and you're not stressed at all, huh? Well, yeah, okay, I'll admit it. Things have been stressful with streaming lately. Oh, how so? Because with esports streaming, everything has to be perfect all the goddamn time. It's not like you where if I, you miss a stray gum wrapper or plexiglass that isn't polished to a shine, Gavin will let it slide. Clearly, you haven't worked for Gavin. Okay, Francine will let it slide. Look, I'm not a metaphor person. Aw oh, yeah, riding high on megalomaniac endorphins, as you do. Fake it till you make it or until you die. That's what I always say. <laughs> My point is, when you're a public figure, an esports competitor, a streamer, an internet sensation, you gotta hustle. 100% hustle. 110% hustle. You only see folks like me and Teo from backstage. You aren't watching from the audience. Different situation entirely there. Yeah, no, that's understandable. There's no room for error. If one thing is wrong, I'll get punished for it one way or another. Especially probably being a female in gaming too. It's not actually- If not by the chat, which constantly seeks my blood and salty tears, then by my own team. They're always evaluating my performance. Mm -hmm. Things go badly enough, my viewer count goes down, and I could lose my sponsorship. Then, then That's everything. Not, it's not good out there, isn't it? It's no bueno. There's a lot of no bueno. Damn. Damn indeed. You see what I mean? Take the world down in flames, I say. Maybe is really letting the stress get to her. I should find a way to pump up her spirits. Okay, so it's brutal. Sounds like life has been brutal in general lately. <laughs> Let it burn! <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are on side with that. But there's one thing you told me long ago that I'm gonna quote right back at you. When the world shits on you, you take a shit on the world! I'm assuming that's what it is. <laughs> that's my favorite catchphrase. Well done, kid. You're right, I'm not gonna let anything stand in my way. That's what I like to hear. Really, Queen Bee? That all makes sense. But you have to take time for yourself and relax. Easier said than done. I know streamers who take a week off, go on vacation or something, and their subs drop off the face of the earth. But I also know burnout's a serious thing, so I do need to take breaks. And if I'm gonna relax, you should follow that same advice, kid. Huh? running all over this place pushing your event. I get that it's a big deal for you, in the same way that training it for it is a big deal for me. But take some me time alongside the you time, yeah? Are you suggesting that you and me have some you and me time? Like me and you and you and me have some us time? Are you recommending us time, Queen Bee? Because I would like that. <laughs> um, two of us go our separate ways. Her to rejoin the tournament and me to catch up with Tio and Ashley again back at the mini funplex. It sounds a menage a wee. Wee! 
Yeah. Gurren's dad is sitting and enjoying it. Yeah. Don't miss the amount that you have to walk around. Took a few minutes of searching and stalking, but eventually I found an open seat at a pop-up arcade. While, sitting, while the sit is satisfying, the rest of everything is miserable. My feet are sore from walking all over, and I don't remember the last time I ate. Oh my god, this is not con plague. This is how you get con plague. Oh, Gavin saw me in my current state. Leaning back, arms inside, completely exhausted. I can picture it clearly. That's cons, baby! Especially working them, it's like a mess. I honestly sighed just thinking about it. And his luck would have it, Gavin and Naomi huddled over the Galaga cabinet trying to figure out why the monitor's not working. Freedom, my bones are, are experiencing the best freedom has to offer. And my body feels like it could collapse at any moment, I feel good about it, right? Getting word about, out about the Funathon was great. Seeing people's face light up with excitement is why I'm really here. I do miss conventions for that excitement though, like for that, that vibe, that energy, it was fun. Plus, watching Tio inspire the crowd was an added bonus. His energy is infectious. I smiled to myself. I know, yeah, I, I feel you. I don't think my body could do conventions at the rate I used to do them. <sighs> Especially not running them. Not anymore. Pain in my heels, the grumbling in my tummy, worth it. And while enjoying the respite, I let my eyes close for a moment. And of course, the second I do that, I hear footfalls closing in. There you are! I'm looking all over for you! But we were specifically going to meet up back here at the Funplex Pop-Up Arcade. Yes, we didn't expect you to be tucked in the darkest corner of the arcade. I'm hiding from Gavin. He'll put me to work if he sees me. Hmm. Hiding from behind the pinball machines is probably not the smartest choice then. You know how much he loves pinball. Every spare moment he thinks no one is watching him, he is spent getting that high score. I have so many candid pictures on my phone of him playing pinball. You have to show me, like, right now. <laughs> yes, his concentration base is so cute. Ahem. Don't we have more important matters? Max is over in a few hours and we'll have a lot of work left to do. You're right. Please don't tell Gavin. Your secret's safe with me. Right, so business time. I think I got something. Go on. I have a friend. She's an indie arcade developer. New title she's been working on is amazing. It's got co-op, it's got competition. It's got magical school girls. I'm in. Where do I sign up? It's got it all. We're not. Nope. Don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Wait, pretty sure I've heard of this game. It's called Magical Moon Cuties. Yeah, that's the one. She's thinking about premiering it at the fun of fun. Oh my gosh. That would be cooler than cool. Sounds interesting enough. Might make for another fun game for people to play. Definitely. My friend is somewhat renowned in the indie scene. Tokyo Mew Mew the game. Yeah, exactly that. The game's been in development for years. I'm sure it would create some buzz at least. Are you kidding? We'd be the talk of the arcade world. I do like the talk of world sized things. Let's go check it out. Wait. Ashley? I too have a plan. Huh? What's your idea, Ashley? So what I am proposing may not be your most legal course of action, Ashley! I already have my AI doing illegal crap. I can't have you doing it too. Do you want to know? I've seen the huge monitors hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the major halls, right? How could I miss them? They're constantly bombarding us with ads, false hopes of high quality convention food. No matter how amazingly tempting that $9 hot dog looks on the screen, I don't even want to think about it. Exactly my point. Everyone's looking at it. I know a way to sneak in the back area. All we have to do is break, break into the main communication center and upload the flyer. No! He did you crimes! Shh, keep your voice down! <sighs> yeah, Ashley is going to be the reason we get arrested later, guys. It's a genius plan. Everyone at Max will see our name up in lights. Yeah, so that's a less than legal way of getting the word out, but I have to admit you got me intrigued. And it definitely would work, but I don't know. What Trust me. About? We need to go in disguise. I'm already nicely disguised, but Parker needs to switch into something way more distracting. Why more distracting? Distract from your face, of course. What I'm trying to say is people remember the costume, not the person wearing it. Got the perfect maid costume for you. 
Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Um, time to do some sketchy shit. Do da do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, do da day. It'll be fun. Tell me what to do. I. I am going for the safer route. I know that sounds silly because normally I'm all for be gay do crimes, especially in a maid outfit. However, however, uh, I, uh, don't be suspicious. I know it from TikTok. I apparently it's from a TV show. I just don't know what show. And the assault. I had to sneeze in two seconds. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my God. Yeah, I think it is Parks and Rec. Um, see, I think the anticipated indie title. TL, let's go check out Magical Moon Cuties. Ashley, you got this. You don't need any help from me. I also don't feel like going to jail today. Plus, I'm pretty sure Ashley can handle breaking and entering all by herself. And yes, I do realize how wrong that sounds, even in my own head. You've seen plenty of heist anime. So much that you can sneak into the National History Museum and steal the world's biggest Fabergé egg in the middle of the day. Or, you know, the Declaration of Independence. We can go with that reference instead. I got like 12 bobby pins holding on this wig. Not part of the gay agenda. I can't cancel you. I won't let you down. I know you won't. And please be careful. I just don't want Gavin realizing that I was a part of this and then firing my ass. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> Fair enough. Should we go see a lady about an indie game? Yeah, no, there's a lot of, there's a lot that could go wrong. So truth be told, less people on it, the better. Um, and if it's only one person, it seems less like it was an intended thing. It was like, seems less premeditated if it was two people. I mean, if it was one person versus two people. As we left the pop-ups and traveled deep into the halls of Max, people keep stopping by to say hello to you. Oh man, it's Tio! How are you doing? Great, but we're on our way to meet somebody. Let's catch up later. Cool, cool, laters. And this happened every couple minutes. Uh, walking through the convention floor is like walking through a field of landmines. Yeah, this is also accurate. Okay. Uh, where they set up here is mostly reminiscent of the rest of Max. Arcade cabinets are closely lined up side by side. And several aisles for gamers to aimlessly wander down. I would have expected to be a bit more pushing my way through throngs of crowds by now, but nope. T and I force our way through huddled masses of chittering conversations. As I look around all the different arcade games around us, I notice something's off. There are actually zero titles here that I actually recognize. No Dig Dug, Gauntlet, or Street Fighter. Not even a hint of pinball. I'm starting to get concerned. Where are we? This is the indie mega arcade. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the indie area, which is probably dope as hell. Well, originally they called it the Indie Mega Arcade Expo, but then IMAX sued them. The what? That didn't explain anything to me. What are all these weird games? Mm -hmm. If you'll hush those alluring lips of yours. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you hitting on me? I'd be more than happy to explain. I will. I will definitely just shut up for you, uh, sir. Hmm. Didn't see that one coming. Ah, yes. The Indie Mega Arcade is a huge area of Max that showcases all the new and upcoming indie arcade games. <laughs> it's a great line. It also just made me go like, wait, pardon? Any developers get a chance to show off their stuff and use and get useful feedback and maybe a few people interested in the game along the way. Genuinely love indie areas of like of these events. Like it's so cool to see things that people work on. They're just so much more passionate about it too, I find. Yeah, don't use on strangers. Do not recommend. Probably will not go over well. Oh my god. That's the dream of the indie dev, to make a game that people enjoy playing. I don't know about the indie arcade scene, admittedly. Working at the Funplex office offers me a crash course in arcade culture. Every day I'm learning about completely new aspects. 
It does make perfect sense to have an indie game scene, just never realized it existed. It's pretty amazing, actually. A community of people who share ideas and passion can't afford mass production runs of games, but they've got a lot of heart, you know? Can't crank out a box for every arcade on Earth, but indie developers are free to make whatever type of game they want. No pressure from a big name company, either. Complete and utter creative freedom. Really, anyone can make a game if you put your mind to it. In fact, I bet even you could make an arcade game. Yeah! Oh my goodness. I used to draw out intricate arcade game levels on paper, too. Being surrounded by hardworking individuals at the Funplex only enriched that fantasy. I mean, I can't code or draw, but I can always dream up new ideas. Tio, you don't even know. I've got so many ideas swimming in my head for a game. I'm picking the very bold choices this this run. I don't know what's going on with me today. I think I woke up and chose violence, to be completely honest with you, and so I keep having very assertive everythings today. That sounds so weird. What'd you make first? I would make... No. Uh, romance game! I don't remember... I think it's something like a game we can date and romance people. Yes! I'm so glad you like that. Anaplex takes place in an arcade. An ar a game about arcade romance in an arcade. That's not meta at all. Yes! Really, the core of the game would take an in-depth look at the different aspects of arcade communities and how they function and interact with each other. Uh, yeah, it's a bit slow for a coin-op arcade game, but... Plenty of kissing and touching butts. Okay, now you're speaking my language, which is the language of love. The language of that you would like to speak to me because you've talked about my alluring lips already, sir. Too easy. All like right. It. Smoochies. Well, if you ever get super bored of being an arcade event manager, I can hook you up with all the proper people to launch your second career. It's dope, actually. I have some friends who make arcade games for a living. Since we stepped, in fo stepped foot into the indie, arcade, ma indie Mega Arcade, people have been waving and nodding to you. Not to mention all those people stopping us on the way out to get over here. All these people supporting the flash mob. I'd say some... I'd say... The, 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 I'd say more than some friends. You're a popular guy. What? Come on, that's silly. Sir. He gives his hand waving off the very notion that I know it to be true. Everyone knows who he is and I had no idea. Tio's always been such a crowd pleaser at Showtime stage, but I guess his popularity spread to all facets of his life. Dance champion and indie arcade scene champion? Hmm? I try to keep my friends' circles pretty separate. Sometimes it's not always perfect, and they tend to overlap. You know, like a Max. But hey, it's got upsides. All my friends are here. The biggest downside of Max is it's just so hard to see everyone. I never get to spend enough time with them, you know? Mm, what used to be my life at conventions? I got friends here in the indie mega arcade. I got my Funplex crew, I got the dancing community, I just can't see them all. And when I can't see them, I feel like I let them down. I hate having to choose between them. Once again, I've failed my friends. You know, it's a surprise Aww. anyone still talks to me anymore. Aww. Second time I've seen Tio with such anxiety today. Life is not all rainbows and, rainbows and puppies, is it? Too real. I can relate to his feelings, though. I've dealt with my own insecurities about my own life, my family, notably, and even getting my current job. Sad Tio is worse Tio as his friend. I must fix this. Allow me to boost your ego, Tio. <laughs> no, Tio's feeling pretty down about not being able to see all 100,000 of his friends. He has to realize how many friends he has and that they all support him no matter what. Tio, you know what I can't even fathom right now? What? Well, no, what? I honestly have no idea how famous you are. Like, everybody gets together and erects a golden statue in your honor sort of famous. The kind of famous that accidentally starts cults. Good cults, though. Not not the kind with sci-fi authors enthralling Hollywood celebs with tales of spaceships and volcanoes. I'm talking like happy, carefree dance cults. I'm not famous or anything like that. I'm just a normal guy who happens to have a lot of friends. Tia, yeah, that's the exact definition of popular. If you look at popular in the dictionary, dictionary, your picture would be right there. I've seen so many of your friends step by to say hello to you. Plus, they completely understood when you told them you were busy. Not one left without a smile on their face. They really care about you. You know what? You're right. Heck yeah, I'm right. How'd you get involved in the indie arcade scene anyway? Through Michelle, the indie developer I want to I want you to meet. 
I met her a few years ago at a previous max. I was hanging out with my crew near the dancing games, and she stopped by to play around. Since she was new to the scene, I struck up a conversation with her. Much like when I met you. Ah, so there's plenty of flirting then, because that seems to be your way, sir. I can't help myself when I'm surrounded by such beautiful, wonderful people. You flirt. And Michelle makes indie arcade games? She's one of the coolest, most prolific arcade developers in the industry today. She worked on several big, na big name indie games, and when she's not working, she's speaking all over the world about arcade development. Color me impressed. Sounds like Michelle's a sort of influential, influential person who could really help with the Fenathon. She really is. Hi, baby. What now, Mateo Alvarez? Alvarez? There we go. What now, Mateo Alvarez? Oh, Michelle, only the worst person I've ever met. That must be expected, expected from somebody of your caliber. <laughs> Touche. I was just looking for you, by the way. Well, I'm glad I found you then. What's on your mind? I wanted to introduce you to Parker. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine. Took me a second, but Michelle totally looks like a... Uh-oh. You are, perchance, a federal agent. For the record, this is referencing the CIA agent who went and took the game that nearly made me lose my life during the last game, the last session of this. Who me? No. Well, my sister. I can neither confirm nor deny what she does for a living. Gotcha. I'm gonna shut up and focus on arcade stuff. I think what Parker's trying to say is that you seem to have a very confident and authoritative expression, that's all. It's exactly what I mean. Got it on the nose, thanks. Okay, sure, let's go with that. Anyway, I spoke to Tio earlier the other day and told me you had a business proposition. Consider me all ears. Allow me to elaborate. Parker here was recently appointed as the event manager for the Funplex. Congrats, that's the cute little mom and pop place where Tio gets his groove on, right? I would categorize it as more of a grandpa and gra grandma and grandpa kind of arcade. It's not the fanciest one out there, but it's got heart. I like an arcade with a good heart. Reminds me of my youth. Good old days when you would walk into your home away from walk into your home away from home, quarter up and enjoy the company. But I digress, getting two sets up in memories. Tell me more about the proposal. Parker's putting on a special event at the Pomplex called the Thunathon. Celebration of the arcade scene. Oh I will. We're gonna be having high score competitions, esports stuff, mystery game reveals the works. I'm going all out on it. And to you, I take it you're doing a dance event as well? He is, but It'd be great if we could add one more thing to the list. Maybe the premiere of a new indie game? <gasps> you couldn't possibly mean my game, Magical Moon Cuties, if you'd allow us the honors. Have I given you the elevator pitch yet? All I know is they're magical school girls and I'm intrigued. It's a competitive cooperative puzzle game where you have to work together to match all the magical orbs before their opponents can. Think three player magical drop with combo attacks. Everyone plays as different adorable magical school girls, hence the cuties part. Sounds better than the last time I heard it. Right, I'm pretty excited to share magical moon cuties with the world. In my life. I have been mostly doing some very selected demos for media at Woods Day, but so far the general public hasn't been allowed to play it. I'm looking forward to the perfect place and time to release it. Big publicity might mean I land a manufacturing contractor or a publisher, so I could do a wide release. Yeah, I'm confused about the also co-op part. It's clearly competitive, but I don't know about the co-op. Fanathon might be a good choice for that, but we're gonna need a little more convincing. What else have you got? Shit. It's all about the heart of the cards! And by the cards, I mean the arcade. You aren't gonna find an arcade that has more spirit than the Funplex. Everyone who frequents there is employees and patrons alike want nothing more than for this event to succeed. This is our chance to show the world our dreams. We've been pouring all of our combined energy into the making the fun of Thon victorious. Tio, myself, and all the staff, all the gamers. With Magical Mew and Cuties on our side, we can bring just even more heart to this affair. It's the perfect fit for the kind of friendly atmosphere we want, bringing people together. Yeah, okay, Michelle, here's the thing. We've been riding the fun train. We are now driving the fun trains. Not fun train. I got fun now in the rain. The feels train. We have been on the feels train. We are now driving the feels train. Prepare for the feels train. We're gonna get you too. Choo choo all aboard, motherfuckers. Plus, I really want to play Magical Moon Cuties too. Fair enough. I was just sassing you, anyways. After I discussed it with Tio, I already knew I was gonna show Magical Moon Cuties at the funplex. 
Heck yeah, I'm the conductor of the feels train. All aboard, biatches. Love that enthusiasm, though. Really? Really? I mean, it's either Thumbplex or Deco's Palace, and while Deco is the heavyweight champion of the arcade world, it's not a good fit for my dreams. So it's settled. I think so. I know so. Magical Me and Cuties will have its first play playable showing at the public at the Fun of Fun. I'll hold my prototype cab cabinet over to your arcade the day before so you can get it set up. I'd appreciate you keeping it hidden until the event, though. Already bought a mystery concealing tarp for our rare game release? Heck, what's well, one more mystery concealing tarp between friends? This will be an event to remember, and I'm thrilled. Can't wait to share the news with everyone. Parker, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Oh, but I should honestly be thanking you as well. Sorry to cut this combo off, but Michelle, your next interview is here. Hi, Jamie! Oh, I like those cats. Look at those cat butts! Cat booties. Anyways, we're good. It's Mark Hexagon. Mark Hexagon, got it. Ugh, it's so hard to keep track of all these different media outlets. Parker, it's been great. My people will call your people or whatever they do these days. Oh, expect your social media to explode later today. It already did, ma'am. Don't know if we can handle another explosion, but also. I just want to meet the true villain of this game, which is Deco's Palace. Bye, Michelle. We're doing real good, actually, at this. I imagine the adorable smiling faces of anime magical schoolgirls. I can practically hear them cheering me on. Is this huh? my life? Huh? I'm oh, nothing. I'm just musing to myself. Out loud. No worries. I do that all the time. Mostly when I'm alone. Though. Love it. But overall, that went really well. I'm glad Michelle was really excited to bring her game to the Thumbplex. Me too. Honestly, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. What with you helping me raise the hype with your flash dance mob? I feel like... The fun of fun is actually gonna be amazing. That's the spirit! I never doubted you for a second! The hall will be closing in 30 minutes. It's over already? I was just getting started. I've barely seen anything yet. Could do this for at least another four hours. I could not. I need food. I am frightened and confused as how you have still have so much energy left to you. I amaze myself sometimes. As for me, I was exhausted allowing yawns to escape from my mouth. Well, I'm officially pooped and ready to go home. Beep beep GTFO nerds, yeah, pretty much. Before you go, smooch. Hey, before you go, you, um, you wanna, like... I'm, I'm sorry, do I want, do I want a what, T.O.? Would Maybe go get dinner with me? Yo, snow cheese. Is this really happening? Am I seeing the smooth talking witty Tio actually have a loss for words? He blushing like, look at that, look at that precious face. Smooth cheese. I mean, it's been such a long day, and I haven't seen you eat anything. And mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I'm really mm -hmm. hungry, so mm -hmm. I figured I'd extend the invitation. Mm -hmm. No one likes eating alone, right? Mm -hmm. I should say something. Sorry, I've also been, like, not talking. Because I'm just like, hi, sir. I should say something, but I should also be very clear about my intentions. We're gonna find out if I can date everybody in this game, folks. Let's do this. Anyways, it's a date. Only if we can call it a date. How about it? Can't help it. Gotta tease him a little more. It's only fair since he's flirted with me so many times. He called my lips alluring. So, uh, I mean, uh, if you, uh. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That's that, sir. I give him a most flirty wink uh, with double to the sassy smile. Okay, there's teasing and there's cruelty. I let him off the hook. Relax. Yes, let's go grab some grub. I'd love to share a meal with you, Tio. Thank you. He relaxes when I declare my intentions simply with a bit of whimsy. All right. Uh, consider it a date then. How about Sorry. the food court here at the convention center? Thanks, Jamie. <sighs> Sounds like, no, why are we? You know, the one about 50 feet over yonder smells of fried oil and ridiculously overpriced food. You sold me on the fried oil smell. <laughs> Great. 
<laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> Got a hankering for some fries. Hmm. You should have a hankering for more than just that, sir. <laughs> I'll see myself out now. Thanks, bye. See and I continue the conversation, mostly me bothering him. As we walked over to the closest food vendor. Starving, we each ordered the biggest serving of fries. Oh, I want fries. I want fried. I just want fried dough. Fried potatoes. I want those. Mmm, fried potato delicacies. And we instantly realized that one order would have been sufficient. Whoops. <laughs> Peg him. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is a such thing as too many french fries, so don't know what you want for my life. It's a fry folly. There's no. Not with that attitude, sir. Tio, if we set our hearts and stomachs to the task, we can conquer them all. Together with you, we can conquer anything. That sounds romantic. Came damn close to finishing our food. See? But in the end, the tasty potatoes reign supreme. With our hands resting on our bellies, groans leaving our lips, we waddled away from the table we shared. Approaching to us, Moochie? Hey, thanks for spending the whole day with me. You know, I had a ton of fun. You know what? I did too. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. I'd be up for that. Call me whenever you'd like. No! We go in for a smooch! With consent! Actually, so, okay. Go in for the hug. Then we whisper, can I smooch? Too full of potatoes to smooch? Sounds weak. Sounds like weak talk. Weak sauce. There is no such thing as too full of potatoes. One. There is no such thing as too full of potatoes to a smooch for two. I don't know why I'm like this, but smoochies, anyways. For anybody wondering if I'm like this off stream, 100%. I'm playing Mass Effect 3 and I am constantly just like smooch, 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 smooch. And I am home alone like this. Stand still, somewhat stunned by the whole situation. Turn away before you can see my cheeks blush. No! Such a good opportunity for a smooch. Oh, such a smooch opportunity. That is not a good word. All in all, a successful day. You have a new text message. Opera Operation Hot Dog Takedown, mission complete. Asset extracted and heading home for a leisurely bath and some anime. Exactly! You just... And then walk. Leave him wanting more. Reasons why I'm single. <laughs> oh, reasons why I'm single, as covered in every, every stream I do. <laughs> huh? Jack the video sign and snuck Good away. Good work. Ah, look at it! Look at it! Look at it up there! Look at the screens! Our, fly our flyers are airing there! Now, wow, I didn't know Ashley was a hacker. We should swap tips. I like the fun plex to commit fewer felonies rather than more iris. Uh, okay. Right. Time to head home. I was going to meet Jennifer just outside the main exit hall, and that's exactly where I was headed. A rush of fresh air hit me as I pushed the double glass doors open. It was nice. Refreshing. And had a much better smell than the one I'd been around all day. I didn't have long to wait until I saw Jennifer. She bounced happily up to me. So, how was your first Max Parker? It was fantastic. Not a support I got from Friends Day. Ashley is 100% the big gay Jew crimes, apparently. Like, that is her entire character at this point. Um, can't wait to go back next year. That's to be expected with the convention. Although, in your case, you really have did yourself and got smacked with 300% of what anybody else would have, yeah? How'd you figure? Well, most people drop by Max, play some games, maybe attend a panel or two, do some shopping, and they, they're here to be catered to. You, on the ha other hand, were doing all the catering, and like any good caterer, that means spinning plates and doing 12 different things at once. Is that not how conventions work? Is that not how you do conventions? 
I only know how to work events, guys. Like, I actually don't know how to attend an event anymore. I have to be doing something, whether it's running games, running events, running it. So, like, I don't know what I what to do otherwise. Okay, but we're the same person, Chantel, sometimes. Like, we're, we're really, honestly, it's scary. Um... You had interesting ways to push the fun a thon and promote the fun flex as a whole. You worked your butt off to do it. So rather than attending Max, you were Max. Sure feels that way. I'm totally drained. Kinda envy, you know? Sounds like you had some great adventures today. Other than designing that flyer. I think you must be on playing a few games and buying cute t-shirts and stuff. But let me tell you, they are super cute t-shirts. Glad I could support you though. Ian was just, you know, doing that the fire. Carly or Julie, you did a great work designing it. Don't sell yourself short. The flyer looks super professional. I mean, no fun comic sans, but it's still cool. Thank you. Bye, honey. No problem. I'm probably wrapping up pretty soon anyways. We're going to see if this ends this chapter, if it starts something weird. Um, okay, I stretch. I stretch. I do a stretch. Oh, God. Oh, actually. Oh, hello. Oh. Bye. Thanks for being here. Oh my god, as I stretch. Everybody should stretch at home too if you have been sitting. Oh my life. Oh, that feels nice. What does a body feel like anymore? Huh. Thanks, Parker. I really enjoy doing stuff. I don't exactly get a lot of opportunities at the office to express myself. Okay, let's get home and get some real rest. We both earned it. In fact, I'd say we took it to the max. To the max! Called it. Ugh. <laughs> After that moment, the rest of the evening was a blur because we were exhausted. And the Juniper, Juniper and I took the train back home, heated up some pizza bagels, and safely made it into my comfy bed. I think I was still in shock. At the beginning of this day, I thought no one was going to know about the Funathon. We'd be stuck in a relatively unknown mop and pop arcade. But now it seems like the whole world knows, which is great. And also absolutely freaking terrifying because you now need to live up to that expectation. I sigh heavily, letting all the mixed emotions flow over me. There's no turning back now. What I said in motion will stay in motion. It can only get bigger and better from here. At least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself as I drift to sleep. I'm proud of what I accomplished today and can't wait to tell everyone at the Funplex all I've done. I hope they're proud of me too. And before I know it, the fun of fun, fun, fun will be upon us. <laughs> Yay! You cleared level three! A winner is you. That's good. I like how it's still pretty high up there with Naomi regardless. Okay, really good on Tio today. I'm going, going through this. Tio's taking a liking to you, dance fever. Proving to be a gentle, sweet, compassionate soul. Still, still that way, apparently. Woo, go for the high score. I don't know what the high score is, but hey, go for it anyways. All right, so truth be told, screen sorry about that folks um don't know what i'm doing apparently clearly new with this uh i'm actually gonna leave it there for today that is actually the perfect place to end it i am gonna save save the game i'm gonna save before i forget anything else um but yeah we're gonna leave it there for today i may or may not try for another stream on saturday uh midday it might be this it might be combination makeup stream because i normally do makeup on weekends um We'll see. I don't know what I'm doing. Still figuring that out. But, or if I'll do it at all. That's the other, we don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling. Depends on the mood. Otherwise, I will be sure, for sure, be back on Monday, which is Valentine's Day, which means we are extra thirsty and still playing this game. <laughs> so thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This has been lovely. This has been fun. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care of yourselves. Bye.